Today we will be solving this nice square root problem, where our job is to find the real value of m. Okay, since there are so many square roots, so we will try to remove each one of them step by step. If we square both sides of this equation, then this square root will get cancelled with this power 2, and we get m under root m under root m will be equal to 128 square. Don't get scared with this big value because later you will be blown away when you see how beautifully it will turn into a smaller number. Now, let us square it one more time. So, this will become m square. This square root will be cancelled with this power 2, and we are left with m times under root m. And this equals 128 raised to the power 4. Noise, again, don't be scared with this big number. Now, finally, we want to remove this square root, so we will square on both sides one last time. This will become m square whole square, or m to the power 4. This will become m square. And here, square root will be cancelled with this power 2, and we are left with m, which we can also rewrite as m raised to power 1. And this will become 128 raised to power 4 times 2 or 8. No, please don't be scared. We are about to simplify it. Now we will use this power rule where if we have a raised to p times a raised to q times a raised to r, then it will be equal to a raised to p plus q plus r. So this will become m raised to 4 plus 2 plus 1 or m raised to the power 7 and that is equal to 128 raised to power 8. Here comes the magic. 128 can also be written as 2 times 2 times 2, and so on, 7 times, which makes 128 as 2 raised to the power 7. So, 128 to the power 8 can be written as 2 raised to the power 7 whole raised to power 8 which equals 2 raised to the power 7 times 8. Wow! Now, in order to find the value of m, we raise both sides with the power of 1 over 7 like this. So, both these 7 will get cancelled out, and we will be left with m, and this side, this 7, will get cancelled with this one, and we will be left with 256, which is equal to 2 to the power of 8. This means m equals 256. See, I told you that m will turn into a smaller number. Let us also verify the same using Wolfram Alpha. And there you go. If you enjoy my videos and want to support my channel, consider becoming a Patreon, as it helps me create more awesome content for you. Link is in the description. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.